All right, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Tom here. We're in uh, Railroads Online tonight. Figured we'd give the uh, ATC, the Air Traffic Controller Games, a break. Go back to Railroads Online. As you can see, guys, there has been an update, the winter update. We now have snow on the ground. And there's a few surprises that came with the winter update. So, first surprise being, look at that thing, guys. We get a snowplow in the game. Um, so, it, I guess it's supposed to really push snow. I don't know. I don't see any snow on the track, so I don't know how it could push any snow. But, anyway, so we get a snowplow in the game. That looks pretty Get over here it looks pretty decent I, I like it look at that thing boy i bet you that thing could throw some snow put it in front of one of the engines there and, and just push it along the track or we could put it in front of that guys look at that engine this is the 280 cookie so we're going to go take a look at it and see what the cookie really what's all what it's all about okay so let's uh let's look at the new the new cars and uh there's a new car there's the snowplow west side lumber company made this in 1885 for three foot gauge it's weighs 13,200 pounds and you can get it in different colors. There's red on red, black on black, black on brown, and there's red on brown. So and it's about $600. So there's the snow plow. So now let's go take a look at the new cookie. 280 Cook. And there she is. So what's the old, the old cook has 1,187 tube track of effort. So here's the new cook. It is, so we have a 280, which is two leading wheels, eight drive wheels, no trailing wheels. Um, and the tender has, is a 040. So yeah, that looks pretty good, guys. It's a cook load of mo locomotive and machine. Uh, it's a consolidation is the model, and it was built in 1883. It's a 280, three-foot narrow gauge, weighs 58,876 pounds. Fuel type is wood. Of course, all the fuel types in this are going to be wood, even though some of them were actually, in real life, some of these engines uh, took coal instead of wood. But for game purposes, um, QMAs made them all wood, wood burners. So, But uh, it's just part of it. And then boiler pressure, 140 PSI. Ooh. And then tractive effort, it's about 2,000 pounds more than the uh, than the Cook 260. So it's 1,300 pounds tractive effort. I wonder how much that is less than the... So there's the Class 70, 2000, about 2,000 pounds less than the Class 70. And the boiler pressure on the Cook 280 is higher than the boiler pressure on the 70. That's That's interesting. So let's go back to the 280. Um, of course, it has uh, smoke stacks. There's a straight stack with a cap. There's the big one. Uh, get a better look at it. Oh, it's a really big one. That's you mama. So I think I like. I would either like that one or that one. I would probably pick this one. I did. I think I did pick this one when I bought the other one. So. And then, of course, the headlights, you get that one, that one, that one, three different headlights. I like that one or that one. I kind of like that one better. And then you have, I think it has several paint jobs. So there's black on black. And there's, I think I bought that one with the brown and the silver and then the black in the front I like that that looks pretty good 
and then uh, there's a uh, black on gold so it's got all the gold running along and it's just black and black or that's dark brown a dark brown cab with a with the black uh, boiler and then well, that one looks pretty interesting that one looks really interesting I should have got that one that's a, a, a black cab with light brown doors and then black with gold trimming I, that is and then silver up front. I I should have I should have got that one. That one's that one looks pretty good. And then there's the same thing, but it's all black instead of the the silver here and the, and the light brown doors. So, and then that's all. Just five of them, guys. So, there's a look at the Cook 2O. So, uh, I've got her fired up here, guys. We're gonna jump up in here and uh, I don't know how much money I got left it took just about everything I had to buy that snow plow only got eleven eleven hundred fifty eight dollars left let's go ahead and get us a let's go ahead and get us a coal car um, I don't remember how many I have but we'll go ahead and get us a coal car to uh, so we can haul some iron down from iron ore down from the iron mine Oh, I'm going through the colors. So, sitting there wondering why the car ain't changing. I'm going through the colors. All right, so there's a hopper car. Um, it is. Let's make sure we get them right here. So that's one, two, three, four. So it's going to be, this is going to be number 400. And DHRR, double H, double H Railroad. And what kind of colors we got? One color, that's it. So let's order it. Whew. Boy, them things are expensive. Where'd it go? Is it behind me? It is behind me. Cool. So you can come out of there. We're going to put a pin in you. And you're good. And we're going to pull her forward so we can get that pinned in. Can we get the... No, too close to put the pin in. So we're going to pull her forward just a little bit. There's a reverser forward, reversers forward. I don't want to give it that much. I don't want to give it that much. Two, two percent's good. Release brake. Roll up a little bit. Apply brake. Whoa, 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 whoa. Reverser backward. There we go. Get our cheap bar out. Just rolled in there and hooked up. Where's the so we can't put a bar, we can't put a pin in it? There it goes. All right, so let's let that off. Come back here to the back. Of course, that's where you put the water in. Whoa, what a jump down! Come on back, baby. And pin it. Pinned it. We're going to go up here. We're going to put our reverser forward. Break off. Car break off. She should be going forward. Oh man. It left me. It left me. Get back up in there. Come on, get up in there. Come on, come on, come on.
Come on. Why are you being such a pain? Fifteen, that's why it's way too much. I got the break on. Why is it not? Cooperating. Oh, I need to put the compressor on. That's why. So when I thought I put that pin in, I must have been taking the uh, well, this is this is disconcerting I can't get properly into the All right, we're going to have to do it this way, guys. I can't. Can't get that thing to cooperate. So we've got the reverser on. Let's come back a little bit. And then. Now let's see if we can pin it. Is that the wrong one again? Sorry about that, guys. My granddaughter popped in here for a minute. All right, so let's see what we're doing. What What's going on here? So now we're going to go forward because I think I put the wrong one out again. All right, now let's break. Yeah, so it, no, it didn't. This is excruciating trying to get the pin in this thing guys all right let's jump out of here and see what the crap is going on and there it is there's where you put the pin in right there so we'll go like this we'll bring it backwards Come out here. Come out here. Come on. Oh my gosh. Get down there. So the pin was to go right.
I was down on the ground. Says I had pen length. Okay, so that looks like it's pen. Right? Alright. Looks like the pen's in it. Uh uh. There we go. Pins in it. So that's all. That one's off. Let's see. Where'd I push my snow car to? Boy, it went way up there. All right, so let's take a break off and see what we get. Away she goes, guys. She's rolling. She's rolling, 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 rolling. I don't know what happened there, guys. Okay, I think I fixed it. I don't know what was going on. But I'm having audio problems because I can't hear my in-game stuff. Which is disconcerting. But there she is, guys. There is the cookie 280 with a cold car. I'm going to get up here and attach her to this snow plow. Give me a little break. I don't want to ram into the snow plow. Let's put the generator on and see. Can I bring the lights up? Or do I have to go up there and light the candle? There we go. I had to go light it. So there's no generator on the cookie. So let's continue on up here to the uh, and get up here and see what this um, snow plow can do. I'll bring my uh, bring it down a little bit. Wow, no, uh,
no break, so we're gonna have to get up here and try to catch it when the train runs into it. Come on, cookie. No handbrake on this thing. That's not good. How are you supposed to uh, How are you supposed to stop from, stop it from rolling so you can hook up to it? Uh, here comes Cookie. Come on, Cookie. Get her up here and get her hooked up to it, guys. We'll get her down to the to the sawmill. And then we may make a run to the smelter and to the iron line today. We'll, we'll have to see. Here she comes. Here she comes. All righty. There she goes. We're rolling along. Oh, it does. It is pushing snow off the track. How about that? How you like that, guys? Screenshot that one. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Cookie. Let's get in here. All righty, so we're going to get this on down to the to the sawmill. I think we got to give her a little bit more juice. Get her on down to the sawmill. I don't want to push her too hard and push the snow plow off the track. But I like that. I like it a lot. So we'll get Penelope down to the sawmill, and then we will maybe make another run. So hang tight, guys, and I'll see you at the sawmill. Okay, here we are, guys, and coming into the sawmill. I just jumped off and flicked all the switches, so take the brake off and get her, get her going here. I do love that plow in the front, though. That is so cool. See if we can go back another. It is pushing up snow though. That is so cool. We're going to drop her off here and then we'll go on down. I think to the smelter. I think we got a load down at the smelter that needs to go up to the iron mine. That's cool. We'll get her off here on a little, we'll get that snow plow here and drop her off on a little siding. And we may make, uh, I saw um, uh, a video earlier today, maybe, of, uh, I think it's called Aardvark Games. Um, he had quite a good idea. He made a little train. It's like a, a, like a maintenance train. You know, it's just, I think he had the, I think he had the Class 48, which... I would probably be used too, um, and uh, and uh, just a few cars, and 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 you know.
know, you could put some rails on it and some beams for like the cross ties and maybe some lumber for like building telegraph offices or little sheds and stuff and then uh and then just um which I think I'll move that one. That one is there. I think I want to put it over here. So, but yeah, it just um it was it was like a little maintenance train. I thought and I thought it was a good idea. So we might just put one in put one in our in uh our world too here I have a little maintenance train and so let me uh let me jump off here and unhook her everything so this didn't have I don't know where I did not see anywhere on here a it'd be nice if uh if after you run through the snow on the front of this so if you're listening or watching QMA, um, if after you run through the snow, this this stayed white until summertime or spring when it would melt off. But uh, as long as it was uh, running across the tracks and pushing up snow, it would it would still be white up in here even after you stopped. It would still be white. Um, living in Michigan for as many years as I did, I know that. So, just a thought. Put that back down. Now we're going to run to the smelter. So, I need to back her up. First. What are we doing first? So first we're going to have to back Penelope up here. I just, I don't like the way that, being in that box, you turn one way and you're completely out of line from, and the guy needs to be able to turn his head without turning his body. Um, so that's a bug we need to baby fix. So let's get the reverser on, take the brake off, let her back up here. And so we gotta back her up, we gotta head her down this way, guys, toward, guys, towards the um, towards the smelter. And I might do that like I was talking about when um, that guy from Ardvark Games. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Um, you go check out his channel, guys. Make sure you tell him I sent you. But I'm gonna, uh, I may build me a build a little uh, maintenance train like that. We may use that maintenance train to go around here when we're laying new track. We have to make sure we use the maintenance train. And uh, when we're building uh, new buildings, we'll make sure we take the maintenance train to, to do it to make it just a little bit more realistic realism, you know. So yeah, that's I like that idea. Make uh, make it uh make your playthroughs a little bit more realistic. Let's get back here. All right, we start slowing down the cookie there. And I think we'll take the cookie down to the smelter, and I think the mosca is down at the smelter. And I think we'll swap out the cookie for the mosca. And then uh I didn't do it this time. I don't have enough money to buy another engine, but when we get enough money to buy another engine, we will take and we will haul the next load of uh, lumber and we haul up to the iron mine. We'll haul a, 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 a shunter engine up there to shunt stuff around, maybe a, a shea or something to, uh, to shunt stuff around. So let me get out here and flip this switch. And, oh, I like that. See, see how that white is on there because it's froze. That's what it needs to look like on the front of that plow after it pushes through the snow. It, it would have the same thing. So, um, I need to look into that QMA. And I hope I'm pronouncing it. I can't speak, so maybe I'm not. 
but I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, QMA. All right, so we'll get to Penelope rolling along here. Boy, that double, that, that barely fit on that tender, didn't it? Just barely. As a matter of fact, that was hanging off the back of it a little bit. Okay. So that really happens. That one's hanging off the front, and this one's hanging off the back. So there you go, I guess. So is that switch set correctly? I believe it is. Yep, that switch is set correctly. So we'll give her some beans, guys. And we'll get on down, and I'll see you guys when we get to the smelter. All right, guys, so we're coming into the smelter here. You can see it behind me, isn't that? That's a beautiful shot. Get a screenshot of that. That was beautiful. But we're coming into the smelter, and uh, as we went by, I looked down, guys. Um, I, I thought we had beams and lumber that were ready to go and coal empty coal cars that were ready to go up to the smelter but it turns out that um, I didn't remember where I left off in the last episode you guys might have remembered but um, it turns out we have iron rail and iron beams that need to come up to the yard there between the um, between the oil field and the uh, and the sawmill, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, whoa slow down slow down Penelope take it easy girl so we're gonna haul we'll haul these rails back up to the uh, to the yard up there and then we'll probably call that an episode we're 30 minutes in anyway so yeah that'll be a good episode there so we'll get the Penelope parked down here at the smelter so she can do the next run up to the iron mine her 1300 tractive effort will be nice pulling power to get up to the Although I think the, uh, you know, we, we might have a shunter engine down here, guys. Pretty big for a shunter engine, but I think we have the, um, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, Climax is down here. So. Um, if that's the case, we may, we may leave, uh. Which I need to bring another engine down here to help the Climax because if I remember correctly guys from the last episode the Climax had a pretty hard time getting up that 8% 8 or 10% grade that was up there so yeah we need to um, we need to investigate another route to the iron mine I think um, and uh I don't know if all these switches and where these switches were set. I don't remember where they were set, guys. So that one should have been flipped.
Yeah, so I think we're good. We're good in here, guys. And we're going to pull up right beside the uh, the Climax. And I think there's three coal cars. So now we got four coal cars. So that'd be great. Now we just need two more coal cars and we'll be good to go. I'm losing boiler pressure. Why am I losing boiler pressure? Because I didn't put no wood in it. But she's fixing to stop anyway, so. As long as she's got enough to get where she's going there and get out of the way of the rest of the cars, I believe we'll stop her right there. We'll call that a done deal. See if we can get this reverser at zero. There we go. And brakes on. And press her off. Alrighty, guys. Let's go jump into Mosca. And uh, pull it up the hill. See if we can't get uh see if we can we may <laughs> we may need the uh we may need Penelope and the uh cookie two eight oh to to pull this stuff up the hill. I don't know, we'll have to see what it looks like guys. We've gotta get in here, we gotta warm her up. I don't like the wide turn of this guy. I don't remember him turning this wide. Something must have changed. I don't remember him making such a wide turn when he turned around. So she's got 112 in her. She may work for a little bit until we... Reverses forward, break off, rolling on down the line. See if we can get uh, the TPH up the hill with all this lumber or all these iron. all this iron so I'm not sure if all the switches are set we'll have to see when we get there um, that one is set correctly gonna have to give her some juice guys Oh, that's why I didn't give her no juice. Kind of had her on low because. She's not got any. Fire temperature is not hot enough. And the water temperature is not hot enough to make boiler. To get the boiler pressure up. So we need to kind of put along here until. Our boiler pressure starts going back up. We're almost there. Water temperature is like 78, 80. I think when it gets to 100, the boiler pressure starts coming back up. Starts making steam. We're at 90. Hundred and one. All right, boiler pressure is going back up. We'll give it some beans. Give it some beans and get her up the hill. Listen to her chug. Ch 
chugging along, chugging along. That's a good speed for now. She starts hitting that incline. I'm going to have to give her some real juice, some real beans. Get the feeder, feeder, feeder. She's starting to pick up speed, so she's going to slow down just a little. Let me make sure we got all of our trains behind us. Sorry about that, guys. I went off to the other screen here a minute. Oh, yeah. Juice. She may not be able to make this trip, guys. It may take the cookie. Sand. If that helps. I guess it would in the wintertime. Wow. Can't get up that hill. All right, guys, this may take a while, so I'll see you at the sawmill. Just a little update, guys. See the sawmill. <clears throat> I mean the smelter. She's she's going slow but sure, but she's she's pulling it. So uh, we may make it to the smelter without any help after all. But uh, we will see you guys there. Alrighty guys, we've made it up here to the sawmill. We are going to back these in behind the log cars and then we will unhook the, well, the cordwood cars. Yeah, we'll unhook the cordwood cars and uh, then we'll pull these rails down to the yard. So let's uh I've already flipped the switches, so we'll get our brake off here. See if we can get her to go backwards. And back she goes. That was a load coming up that hill. She was struggling, but she made it. A good old Mosca, the TPH. She made it up the hill. Wish I had a brakeman and we could kick these cars, but I think it'd be too. By the time I got back there to unhook them, they'd already be run into the log cars, and I don't want them to slam into the log cars. So we'll just back them on up the old fashioned way. I just got to make sure I can see that switch over there. All right, I know about where I parked the plow, and I can see the plow. So if that one, that last uh, empty cordwood car gets about where that plow is, we should be good to stop. And so right about... I think right about there ought to do it, guys. We went a little past. I think we'll be all right, though. So let's jump out and go look and see. 
So there's the plow. Uh, yeah, there's the log cars and there's the cordwood cars. So all we have to do is hit bump them log cars, back them up in, hook the cordwood cars up, and up to the sawmill we go. So let's uh, let's tie this off. Tie off that car there and remove that pin. All righty. So now we can jump up here and get back to the headed back to the headed over here to the yard. And uh, I already set the switches for the yard too when I was off setting the switches for this one. So. We should be able to, uh, should be able to get there, no problem. Give her a little more beans. She's pulling quite a load. Pulling quite a load, but I think she got it. There we go. Yeah, <clears throat> so I like the winter scene, guys, I, and I just noticed, you know, look at the trees, guys. It's the old pine trees are back. We got our old pine trees back. So that's, that's, that's cool. So there's the yard. And like I said, I think I set the switches correct. I hope I did. This should bring us along the right side of that car that's already down there and I think that car is full of uh, cordwood or not cordwood I think it's full of beams and and uh, that needs to go toward the oil field and this needs to go toward the oil field so we'll we'll get this over there and might as well we can kill the regulator now I think we need to put some cross tracks in here, guys, because that's a long way down to the other end just to hook up to the cars, to come back and hook up to these cars. So a couple cross tracks might not be a bad idea. But, yeah, there's the lumber and beams, and there's the rails and beams. So beams and beams and rails and lumber. We'll haul off the brake there on on TPH. Oh, she's hooked to the shea. That's hooked to the shea. Okay, so we may take the shea down and take BJ up to the uh, iron mine and let BJ be a shunter at the iron mine. I think that's a good idea. I think that's an excellent, excellent, excellent idea. And then we can use the Mosca here. To run back and forth between the yard and the oil field and maybe the iron works and uh, and we can use the cookie to come up and down the hill from the smelter to the to the sawmill maybe here to the yard and we'll just use the climax to keep going up and down with a helper of course we're gonna have to have a helper engine so we may get another Shea or something along that line to help um, to be a helper engine for the uh, for the 
climax to get up the mountain. So, oh, see, I'm going to turn around here. So we're going to, let me walk over here because I want to get another screenshot. Uh, let's go over this way and get a screenshot because that way we can, there we go. Let's get a little screenshot of that. So then we can uh, have a helper engine for the Climax. So thanks, guys, for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, and like, share, and subscribe. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, hit that notification, ring that notification bell so you'll see when I get new videos out. I do other videos other than railroads online. Uh, I have an ATC, American Truck Simulator. Um, uh, snow runner um, so yeah I got other videos out there besides America's Railroad America, beside Railroads Online I can't even speak tonight guys beside Railroad Online so if there you, something else interests you if there's, if there's other games guys that you want me to that you would like to see me play you know leave a comment you know um, if there's other ways you'd like to see this game go leave a comment you know I think we're going to have to uh I think I'm already to the oil field, so we'll have to, uh, I think our, we may, once we get our, uh, once we get our maintenance train set up with some rails and some beans and lumber maybe and some other stuff that's needed for building track and building buildings and stuff, then uh, what we'll do is um, we'll take that. And then we'll go build some track. I think we need to go from next step is from the oil field to the uh, to the ironworks, and then uh, and then of course we got to go from the ironworks to the refinery, and then our last jump will be to the um, to the coal mine. And so, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Be safe. God bless you, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we'll see you guys on the next one.